A class action lawsuit in L.A. alleges that Apple has the ability to block iPhone users from texting while they're driving, but they don't use it thereby causing accidents and deaths on the road. The California man who brought the lawsuits uh, would like to halt all iPhone sales until they lock out phones to prevent texting and driving. He's not seeking any additional damages aside from his legal costs. He says the company is putting profit over customer safety. So this was an interesting one. I think uh, if they have the ability, should they? I don't know. I mean, this gets to like, what's your personal choice and what's not. They had, there was a patent that says that, you know, it's technically possible. I mean, as we've been talking about switching Android to iOS, mm -hmm. I was saying Android Auto is an amazing app. You have to download it separately and it doesn't prevent me from texting and driving. And by the way, I don't really text and drive. What I do, my, um, my guilty, I, I'm guilty of looking through my podcasts while I'm at a stoplight. So, right. and it's stops you from doing that. Like you can press a couple buttons, but today I was scrolling and it just said paused for safety. And I was like, thank you, Google. Did you know, and Burke brought this up to me yesterday and I, and I looked into it, new California law as of January 1st, no touching phone for any reason whatsoever. I know. If it's mounted in, in a dash mount, then you get one tap. That's all you get is a single tap. And if you do anything more than that, that's illegal. Mm -hmm, I know. Um, I think the big the, and and so there so there's that. So now now I know that. So I mean, even Android Auto, right? Like, thankfully they have the OK G command mm -hmm. uh, because then you can do it all by your voice and hopefully navigate and and get get through to where you need so that you don't have to tap it because even tapping it more than once would be against the law. But even beyond that, because that is a great a great approach. Um, how how does the technology know that you are a passenger versus a driver? That's the big challenge that fingerprint? I see. What do you mean? Like you could do a fingerprint on your keys, a fingerprint on your phone. I mean, there's not like, it seems like that that's not too hard to figure out. I mean, this they, they know that this is my, I mean, yeah, a fingerprint. Like you'd, you'd have to agree to it, I think. Like maybe there's a fingerprint sensor in your car and then you, you know, I'm the driver, I'm putting my fingerprint in. I'm putting my fingerprint in my phone. Mm. I'm matching them up. Then so, it like, knows. you get in and you and you put a fingerprint like on your your steering wheel, and that tells your phone, yeah, that you are the that you yeah. are con currently the driver, right. and your phone goes, okay, yeah. I'm not going to do that. I mean, that. That, that's one way right. to do it. Yeah, um, yeah, that re that requires Apple to to get some new hardware out there <laughs> in order to to make that work. But so, so like like Google has the ability, and I'm sure Apple does too. But I know Google has a specific specific hardware in their phones to detect this, to understand different activities. It, it knows when you're driving. It knows when you're bicycling. It knows when you're walking or running. Like it, it uses, you know, the accelerometer and, and extra technology inside to detect that. So it knows when you're driving. And if that is the case, then if driving, then deactivate certain parts of the phone. But that doesn't work if you're a passenger. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that, that might be one way to tackle that. But I, I think that's probably one of the bigger challenges is does this make the experience for someone who is merely a passenger? And I've been a passenger many times and many times I'm on my phone when I'm a passenger, <laughs> you know? So if it makes that challenging, that could be a big part of why Apple doesn't want to do this as well. It just makes the experience for uh, a lot of people just not that great. Yeah, I mean, I think there's no way it could be mandatory. I mean, I think it would be very difficult for it to mm -hmm. be mandatory, but I think some sort of encouragement, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can't, uh, there, it's like the seatbelt. You know, we used to have the seatbelts that would automatically, you know, <laughs> yeah, those. Yeah. And they were just trouble. But like something like that, I think would be great. But I don't, I'm not saying that I think that we should all be forced. Uh, I think we should do it on our own. But I don't know, I think this would be a good question of the day. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the question is should Apple be responsible for locking your phone while you're driving? Yes or no? Uh, Burke has something that fell over to say. <laughs> he says driver only sits in driver's seat. So then the phone would have, well, that is true, Burke. But the driver phone, does only sit in the driver's seat. For now. But how does the phone know that, that the driver is in the driver's seat? Because you put the, I, yeah. I think that if you had the special mount, mm -hmm. then you could put it, you know, if you, if the phone is mounted, then you can't use it for anything more. Well, then drivers just wouldn't mount it. True. Yeah, but that is I. I'm saying it's something that needs to encourage you. I, 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 yeah, and I'm not. I'm not fighting that at all. I think this is one of the leading causes of accidents in this in this day, and and possibly I think I think I even saw in reading this more so than drunk driving. Mm -hmm. This is not an insignificant issue. Everybody 
thinks that that one quick tap on the on the phone they can get away with and nothing's going to happen but that's why things happen so yeah. it's it's obviously a big problem and if there's a technological way to tackle it um without without affecting the the experience for those who aren't in that scenario then i'm all about it yeah i definitely um think that it is a big problem. I was listening to Note to Self. It's a podcast that I listened to and it was called Distracted is the New Drunk. And in mm. addition to it saying that, you know, this is a, a, bit, a big problem, it's harder to tackle the problem because when drunk driving was a big thing, they used to um, have characters like on Facts of Life or, um, you know, different different television shows. Everyone watched Cheers. There was always like a designated driver on Cheers. An, the special episode yes. or, or whatever. Or, about, yeah, yeah, I think it was like Family Ties or one of those shows where like they really it became the, the storyline like someone mm -hmm. dies in a drunk driving accident and that worked because we all sat down to television you know to watch the same shows uh and so we could say like hey yeah don't text and drive but you know most people out there you know not many people watch our show i admit but not as many people who has watched cheers so what is everyone <laughs> doing everyone is on social media so we should have a campaign on social media but then people are just going to be you know checking out their social media campaign while they're driving so that's not <laughs> that's right. true i mean everyone <laughs> is on social media which is that's part of the social media it's yeah. not it's not cheers it's not family ties it's not everybody is there in their own silos yeah. so it's harder to, you know, push this message through, you know, Michael yeah. J. Fox or whoever was on Family Ties. So, mm -hmm. so yes, but you can uh, weigh in on whether you think Apple or Google should be responsible for preventing us from killing ourselves. <laughs> you can uh, tweet us at TNT at twit.tv or you can find us, uh, that, that's an email, not a tweet. You can tweet it to us at uh, Tech News Today TV. Yes, no. Maybe I'll put a tweet up there that you can, uh, a tweet poll that you can put it to. I know, I know a quick answer. Self-driving cars. Yeah. That'll help. It will help.